in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends in Christ, good evening. Good evening. And welcome to the celebration of the last group of confirmation. The last for the last the last shall be first. Of course, the last shall be first. And the best for last, that's what they say, right? So thank you for being with us today. Bienvenidos a todos. Bienvenidos a esta gran celebración de la confirmación. Donde le damos gracias a Dios por esta oportunidad. Es el último grupo. Creo que es el mejor de todos, ¿verdad que sí? Sí, gracias al Señor, ¿verdad? Todos tienen algo especial. Cada grupo es importante y damos gracias al Señor porque están todos aquí reunidos. Let us pray today in Thanksgiving for this beautiful afternoon, for the opportunity to come to the altar of Jesus and to celebrate, to celebrate the gift of the Holy Spirit that is coming to all of you today to be given the power and the strength to go against evil and to proclaim the good news of the Lord. Let us pause for a moment in silence and ask the Lord Jesus for forgiveness and reconciliation. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Fulfill for us your gracious promise, O Lord, we pray, so that by his coming, the Holy Spirit may make us witnesses before the world to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who were speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues as the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. 
the earth is full of your creatures. Alleluia. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Alleluia. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Alleluia. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Pablo a los Corintios. Hermanos, nadie puede llamar a Jesús Señor si no es bajo la acción del Espíritu Santo. Hay diferentes dones, pero el Espíritu es el mismo. Hay diferentes servicios, pero el Señor es el mismo. Hay diferentes actividades, pero Dios que hace todo en todos es el mismo. En cada uno se manifiesta el Espíritu para el bien común. Porque así como el cuerpo es uno y tiene muchos miembros y todos ellos, a pesar de ser muchos, forman un solo cuerpo. Así también es Cristo. Porque todos nosotros, seamos judíos o no judíos, esclavos o libres hemos sido bautizados en un mismo espíritu para formar un solo cuerpo y a todos se nos ha dado a beber el mismo espíritu palabra de Dios Aleluya, Aleluya, Aleluya Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retained are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. They see you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a few moments. How are you feeling tonight? Are you all doing okay? Yeah, are you happy? Sergio, are you okay? Are you all doing okay? Yes, I hope so. Anybody else? You feel okay? Are you anywhere afraid or not? Jose Luis, are you okay, more or less? Italy, are you doing okay? Good. So I hope you are relaxed, okay? So today we invite you to relax because it is going to be easy. Nothing is going to happen that you do not know yet. You probably practice on Wednesday. You know the answers to the questions. You know the answers to the moments in which the priest is going to come to you and give you the imposition of hands and also the holy anointing with the chrism. And you are set to go. So do not worry, okay? Relax. That's what I want you to do today. Secondly, I would like to let you know that I want to thank you for the letters that many of you were able to write to me. I think all of you did it. Do you all 
were able to send the letters to Father Carlos here, do you? Do you send yours? Okay. Do you all send it? I read some of them, mostly. No, I read all of them, to, to be honest with you, because I have to sign in and send them back to, to Leah for review. And they were very good. Some of the letters gave us a lot of inspiration because you were able to share with us on your journey of faith and how you are now Catholics and you are taking another step to be fully initiated in the church. That's what it really amazes me, that you know what you are doing today. You know what you are committing yourself to. And those letters were really good because they share within your own selves their struggles, the difficulties, the problems, the family issues at home. And you are really praying to the Holy Spirit today that you may be able to be given the grace the grace to fight against evil and to proclaim the goodness of the Lord. So I want to thank you for that. Quisiera agradecerles a todos ustedes por ese gran momento de poder compartir con el Padre, conmigo, sus cartas. Muchos de ustedes escribieron cartas muy bonitas sobre su propia lucha en la vida, sobre su deseo de ser buenos cristianos, buenos católicos. Y cómo en el mundo de hoy tenemos tantas limitaciones, tantos problemas, tantas dificultades, no solamente en el ámbito familiar, sino también en el ámbito social. Y hoy, más que todo, con este problema que tenemos, ¿verdad?, con la pandemia del de coronavirus y todo lo demás, todos tenemos algo que temer, ¿verdad? Pero lo importante de hoy es que, que tenemos que confiar en quién, en Dios, ¿verdad?, Dios es nuestra luz, Dios es nuestra salvación. Hoy ustedes, confirmandos, se van a recibir este gran regalo del Espíritu Santo que los va a hacer adultos en su fe. Today you are going to receive the Holy Spirit in your life. And you are going to receive the third sacrament of initiation, the last one, in which you are going to tell everybody else around you that you are going to commit yourselves to your faith. You are adults in your faith. You would like to share your faith with the people around you. If they ask you if you are Catholic, maybe when you go to the supermarket. I went to, last week I went to a supermarket in the area and someone saw me dressed like a priest. And this person asked me, are you a Catholic priest? What was my answer? Yes, yes I am a Catholic priest. And I share with this person my own Paris information and I hope to see this person one day here in our church. Because we need to share. Do not be afraid. If somebody asks you, are you a Catholic, are you a Christian, what are you going to say? No, no. You're going to say, yes, I am a baptized Catholic. Yes, I am confirmed. Yes, I am fully initiated in my faith. And that's when you are adults. You are adults in your faith because you are receiving today the last of the sacraments of initiations. And this is what we are going to give thanks to God for the gift of the Holy Spirit, the gift that was given to the apostles, the gift that is given to the church every day. When we come to the Holy Mass, when you go to confession, when you receive the sacraments, we are receiving the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the one giving you and all of us the strength to go against evil and to continue to be close to the Lord. So do not be afraid about your problems, about your difficulties, about the things that are happening in your house, you always need to trust in the Lord. Because the Lord is going to be with us. And we have to share that with everybody else. Les invito hoy a que no tengan miedo de compartir su fe. No tengan miedo de decir al mundo quién es usted. En el caso mío, la semana pasada, compartía con el otro grupo de confirmación, me preguntaron que si era sacerdote católico porque estaba vestido como, el, como un sacerdote la respuesta mía era claramente que sí no solamente pude responder que sí era sacerdote sino que también invité a esta persona con su familia a participar de la iglesia aquí en Santa María de los Lagos nosotros cuando se nos pregunten si somos cristianos si somos creyentes la respuesta tiene que ser que sí yo soy creyente, yo soy cristiano, yo soy bautizado, yo soy confirmado y yo tengo mi fe en el Señor. Eso es lo que tenemos que compartir hoy como cristianos, 
como hijos de Dios, que nuestra fe es esencial. Creemos en Jesús, no creemos en los sacerdotes, ni en el diácono, ni en los líderes de nuestra comunidad. No, creemos en Jesús, que nunca nos va a defraudar, que nunca nos va a dejar a un lado, que siempre nos va a acompañar. Que en esos momentos difíciles de nuestra fe va a estar con nosotros. Y Jesús que nunca nos va a abandonar y que nos va a dar siempre de su misericordia, de su amor y su perdón. Así que hoy vamos a invitarles a que oremos, que compartamos nuestra fe, que digámosle al mundo que somos cristianos, que somos bautizados, que somos personas que podemos crecer en el amor del Señor. So today we are going to tell the world that we are indeed faithful to the Lord, that we are going to ask the Lord Jesus to help us in our journey of faith. One of you wrote in your letters that you would like to receive the sacrament of confirmation so you can be closer to Christ. That was beautiful, that you can be closer to Christ. And I think we all need to do that. We want to renew our faith. We want to renew our own lives because we want to be closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to be holy. We want to share the great joy of Jesus, the great joy of the resurrection that we heard in the gospel today. Jesus is alive. Jesus is in our midst. And we are invited today to give testimony of that faith and that love. Hoy los invito encarecidamente a que demos testimonio de esa fe. Que demos testimonio de que Cristo está vivo. De que Cristo está resucitado. De que todos podemos compartirlo con aquellos alrededor nuestro. Con los seres queridos que estamos en la casa. Mamá, papá, los hermanos con los primos, con los hermanos, con los amigos, con todos aquellos que veamos diariamente, compartir la alegría que Cristo está vivo, que Cristo ha resucitado y que nos invita a todos nosotros a compartir en el amor y en la caridad. Vamos entonces a participar de esta acción del Espíritu Santo con las partes esenciales. La primera parte que tiene que ver hoy es con la imposición de las manos, ¿verdad? Es un gesto de invocación al Espíritu Santo. A cada uno de ustedes se le va a imponer las manos en su frente. Segundo, se le va a ungir con el aceite del Santo Crisma. El Santo le va a decir, con este don recibe la gracia del Espíritu Santo. La respuesta será, Amén, ¿verdad? Y después de que el sacerdote les unge con el aceite, le va a decir, paz, la paz sea con ustedes. Y ustedes responden, y con tu Espíritu. So I would like to remind you today that we're going to celebrate the sacrament. First, we are going to renew our faith through the creed. And I'm going to be asking you all those questions. The response will be, I do. Yes, I believe. Yes, I do. And that would be great for all of us to answer. Secondly, the priest is going to impose the hands on your forehead. And after that, he's going to anoint you with the oil, the holy chrism. And he's going to say, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And your response is? Amen. Amen. Okay? And secondly, the priest is going to say to you, Peace be with you. And your response is? And with your spirit. Or con tu espíritu. So that would be great. So with that, we are going to conclude our service. We are going to bless uh, the articles that you brought for a blessing. And after that, we will go home. And because you took the pictures already, we don't have to take any more pictures. Okay? So let us stand and renew our faith. Vamos a poner de pie para renovar nuestra fe. And now, before you receive the Spirit, call to mind the faith which you profess in baptism or which your parents and godparents profess with the church. Please respond, I do. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, crossed from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, to the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as the ways just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. I do. 
Let us all say together, This is our faith. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it. We are proud to profess it. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. My dearly beloved, let us pray to God the Almighty Father for these his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life in baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Dios Todopoderoso, Padre nuestro Señor Jesucristo, por el agua y el Espíritu Santo libraste a estos tus hijos e hijas del pecado y les diste nueva vida. Envía sobre ellos a tu Espíritu Santo para que sea su ayuda y guía. Dales el espíritu de sabiduría y de inteligencia, el espíritu de consejo y de fortaleza, el espíritu de ciencia y de piedad. Cólmalos del espíritu de tu santo temor y de reverencia en tu presencia. Te lo pedimos por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Now we invite you to come with your sponsors two by two to the front like we practiced the other day, ¿ok? Cecilia recibe con este don la gracia del Espíritu Santo. La paz sea contigo, tu Espíritu. Sergio Antonio recibe con esta señal el don del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Peace be with you. sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Thank you. Philomena, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Zacarias, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Catherine, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Gabriel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. 
peace be with you. Judas Tadeo recibe con esta señal el don del Espíritu Santo. La paz sea contigo. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Luis Angel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Holy Spirit. Agnes, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Alexis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Juan Diego, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Guadalupe, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. I would like to ask this class to stand, all the confirmandi, so we can present you to the rest of the congregation. You are the newest confirmandi of our church. Let us congratulate in Adisa. Please be seated. Thank you. Please rise. Nos ponemos de pie para continuar con la Santa Eucaristía. Ahora vamos a pasar la oración universal. Let us pray. My dear friends, let us humbly pray to God, the Almighty Father, and to be one of mine in our prayer, just as faith, hope, and charity, which proceeded from the Holy Spirit, we are. For us, these sons and daughters of God, confirmed by the gift of the Spirit, that we give witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Por estos padres y padrinos que nos encerraron la fe, que través a través de palabra y ejemplo nos den valor para seguir el camino de Cristo, roguemos al Señor. For the Holy Church of God, in union with Pope Francis and all the bishops, that God, who gathers us together by the Holy Spirit, may help us grow in unity of faith and love, 
and still and until his son returns in glory let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayers por todos de cada raza y nación que ellos reconozcan a dios como el padre y en lazaro en la comunión pues con el reino en el que se encuentra paz y gozo en el Espíritu Santo, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. O oh God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles, and willed that through them and their successors, the same Spirit be handed on to the rest of the faithful. Listen favorably to our prayer, and grant that your divine grace, which was a work when the gospel was first proclaimed, may now spread through the hearts of those who believe in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated as we continue with our celebration. my brothers and sisters that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good in the all of his church. Receive in your mercy O Lord the prayers of your servants and grant that being conformed more perfectly to your son they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him have they shared in the memorial of his redemption, by which he great gained for us your Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, true Christ our Lord, ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he put out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gaze, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Pope Francis and John, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph and his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may learn to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to God our Father in the same words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace with you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. By this covenant our last night, amen.
spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I deny myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. I would like to thank all of you for being here, the parents and the sponsors and all the confirmandi today, and also those who are helping us, George and Barbara, and the music director, Deacon Paul, our uh, people who are in the videos. Thank you, Joseph and Dan. And uh, mostly Leah and her team. Leah, please stand so we can thank you for the good work and your team. God bless you. And all the other ladies who are helping us, uh, Brenda and Maria, and who else? You know, all the Manuel, all of you who are helping us. Thank you very much, okay? So for this wonderful celebration. Now let us stand for the final prayer. After the blessing, we're going, I'm going to go around blessing all the articles that you have with you. And as you took the pictures already, you can go home after that. Is that okay? I'm glad you are going to be, be safe and stay always out of trouble, okay? Kids, young people, be healthy and be with the Lord. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that by the power of this sacrament, we who have proclaimed in celebration the glorious mystery of your Son's death and resurrection, may also profess it by our manner of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you Sunday, okay? God bless you all.